Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I hope you are well. Now, not so long ago, I did a batch of recipes, clear recipes, which you guys absolutely loved. We did a, a clear ravioli, we did some clear crisps, I did a clear taco amongst others, and I didn't want to do too many of them, but I've been bombarded by requests. You know, some of them were a little bit more far-fetched than others. I did have an actual request. This is 100% genuine. Can you make a clear roast dinner. Now, I have to be honest with you, whereas I do believe that most things are not impossible, that is possibly impossible. <laughs> but I did get sent an idea that I liked uh, the other day, considering that only recently I've done some own homemade uh, spring rolls. This is going to be clear spring rolls. And uh, to make this possible, this is a pack that I got. Uh, these are called Vietnamese rice paper uh, spring rolls. Very specific, because the Vietnamese ones are almost transparent. So these rolls should help us. They're extra thin, uh, they're made with minimal ingredients. 70% rice, 16% tapioca, 13% water. Okay, it's not moving around. And of course, 1% salt, that all important 1%. This is what one of them looks like. It feels, if I can describe it a little bit like card. That does taste of salt actually. I've just made Pac-Man. <laughs> But once we soak these in water, these actually become um, a lot more transparent. I actually tried it out on a cucumber last week. I just wrapped a cucumber in this and it does look good. I have got a shed load of fruit in my fridge to experiment this with. We're gonna do a chocolate orange ganache with it first, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so this is some good quality dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna break it up into little pieces because we're gonna use the cream, the heat from the cream to melt it through. And some of you are probably thinking, why chocolate? I say, why not? But also I think it fulfills that kind of like inner chocolate fountain thing that I really like. Plus I really like chocolate orange. There we go. Saucepan uh, with some light single cream. So we're gonna put that on a low flame and we're gonna warm it to just under boiling point. We're gonna use the heat from this cream to melt the chocolate in our bowl. And just while that's warming up, the only other thing I've got is some orange extract to pour in to give it that chocolate orange vibe, which when dunked in with the fruit is gonna be gorgeous. So I've made sure the chocolate is broken up into single chunks so it will melt quicker. Bear in mind, this is quite a thick block as well. So one thing you can do is actually grate the chocolate to make the melting uh, simpler, but generally it works pretty good. And this is actually one of my most favorite things uh, to see as the cream sort of melts and marbles the chocolate. All right. So let's pour that on there. <laughs> we need to whisk it as soon as we can. Oh, you can see it's breaking down that chocolate already. It's getting those little marbling, but we want to break down every chunk. So whisk, keep it moving, and we should be left with a really smooth ganache that will just quickly flavor right at the end. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. And I think that's why I like the dark chocolate a little bit more. It just tends to get a bit more of a shine uh, than when you use milk chocolate. So that is our chocolate orange dipping pot already. Oh yes. Now, of course, as gorgeous as that chocolate orange ganache is right now, it's not about that today. It is about these things. We need to fill this dish with some warm water. Take one piece of rice paper at a time, dip into warm water for five seconds, place it on a plate. So we won't place it on a plate, but check this out. This is like sorcery, watch, okay? Quite mystical, bit of cross-stitch design going on. Warm water. So about five seconds. I've probably done a little longer than that. <laughs> Look how clear that is. Hello, <laughs> you see that? They are very, very delicate. It smells a bit like a factory. Tastes like really, really soft pasta with hardly any flavor at all. It tastes like nothing. Yeah, literally like this. I've got a selection of fruit here, grapes, strawberries, kiwi. I've also got mangoes, raspberries, blueberries, pineapple strips, lots of fruit. We've got our wrap, uh, a plate, which it recommends to place it straight on. So we're gonna do what it says. And of course the dunking pot. The more layers of the wrapper that go around it as I roll it, the less transparent it will become. So what I wanna try and do is put the fruit in and roll it when it hits the seal, trim off any excess. All right, here goes nothing. The longer you leave this in the water, the more gummy it becomes and potential for more creases. So 
Okay. Go for some strawberry and mango. And some blueberries. Oh, I really hope this is not gonna stick. Uh, oh, it's really gummy already. Uh, <laughs> it kind of works, but it's really sticky. Okay. We pull this over, like that. We pull this over. Oh my gosh, this is like chewing gum. Let's just do one roll like that. Oh. <laughs> All right, that wasn't the best roll I've done, but that's clear. <laughs> it smells a lot better now there's fruit in it as well. All right, I'm gonna try loads more times. Let's cue the tropical fruit music montage. So I've put the ganache into a uh, dunking pot, like so. Let's have a look at these then. This is the smallest one I did. It's just like a stick of pineapple with some blueberries along it. And it actually looks pretty darn good. This is like a kiwi uh, mixed with raspberries. And I love the way the raspberries just kind of like sit on the surface like that, all sort of bumply. My other favorite one is this grape, blueberry, strawberry, and pineapple combination like that. It's like, like a huge fruity snake. Overall, for transparency, this pineapple, raspberry, and kiwi one, the kiwi just looks so good and vibrant. I love that. I think that looks, I think it's my favorite. I'm a big fan of strawberries, grapes, and pineapple. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. Right, let's get this in my mouth before it like, disintegrates the wrapper. <laughs> this could actually be the ultimate handheld fruit salad. Mm. Oh, wow. That is like a fruit explosion in an edible plastic bag. I mean, it is a lot of effort, but that is also really, really fun. I think they look blooming awesome. Dunky dunk. Mm. Yeah. If you've got any sensible ideas for future clear recipes, do let me know and I'll give them a go. Other than that, see you next time. Bye.